At UNC, we do really interesting stuff in far-flung places. So my goal for the past several years has been, let's get journalism students to those places and tell those stories of the cool stuff that we're already doing as a global university. We have a class in the School of Media and Journalism called Media Hub. Students in that class are charged with finding and producing stories that would be of interest to professional media partners. We use the Media Hub model for this trip to Hukok, Israel. You go to where the story is. It doesn't matter if it's in Carborough or if it's in Israel. And the bonus to this is that we're doing a story about another group of UNC students. So they're there with Professor Jody Magnus in the College of Arts and Sciences. So this is a win-win-win situation. This was an experience that really pushed me. So to go there and to be able to do what I love was incredible, but it was, it was a challenge. We would wake up every morning at 3.50 or 4.50 and we'd hike a mile and a half to the dig site in Hukok and we'd have our cameras with us all day. I think it was about seven hours on the dig site. You'd get back from the dig site and you'd be like, I wanna to go to bed, but you had back-to-back -back interviews to do. So you really have to push yourself. There's a lot expected of you. You have to work you know, at a fast pace and in challenging conditions. So this really let me know that I'm cut out for this work. You gotta love the chaos, I think, to be a journalist. Dr. Magnus is incredible. She was really good about helping us understand exactly what we were looking at, what they were finding. She would go through the mosaics that they uncovered in past years they're doing work that is potentially changing the field of archaeology. It's changing, you know, conventional thought. We're committed in the School of Media and Journalism that our students should have some sort of international experience. We want our students to get out there and see the world and see things that they wouldn't see otherwise. 